Hey guys, thanks for stopping in to pause for a moment of science. We are talking about fronts today. Now there are four main types of fronts. You have warm front, cold front, occluded front, and stationary front. But today we're going to focus on the two main ones and that's a warm front and a cold front. There are a few things you need to know. Um, both fronts bring precipitation. That's their job. All right, so anytime you have a question about the weather during a front, well, there's gonna be some type of precipitation. And I'm sorry I'm bent down so low like this and it looks kind of weird, but you'll see why in a minute. Okay, um, cold fronts, well, that's the cold air moving in. The cold air is dominant and pushes the warm out of the way. Warm front, real easy. The warm air is dominant, pushes the cold air out of the way. Um, the weather is a little bit different and there are some pattern words that you need to know. Uh, cool, dry, and fast all go together. All right, cool, dry, and fast. Warm, wet, and slow all go together. All right, those pa are pattern words. And it will, those two sets of words will help us understand fronts a little easier. What we're gonna do today is we are going to do a quick demonstration showing you how you can build an actual working cold front and warm front, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up for you. All you need is a, a small clear tank of water. You could probably even use it in a clear bowl. Uh, you need some hot water and you need some cold water. And I like to use blue and red food coloring, otherwise you can't tell which water is hot or cold. And of course, we're using water to simulate air masses, right? We, I can't show you warm air or cold air, but I can show you red water to represent warm and blue water to represent cold. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull this in, a little stool. Oh, I'm sitting on a yoga ball, I'm probably gonna fall. I've got a tank of water and I want to go ahead and get that set up and let it be uh, it's a little crooked drive my crazy all right let that water kind of get steady and while I'm waiting for the water to settle which will represent our atmosphere I'm going to go ahead I've got some ice a little bit of ice in some water and um, I will put some food coloring in it so that you know that this is the cold water. So this is blue. All right, hang on, my principal just texted me, hang on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, don't worry, I'm not in trouble, but clearly I'm supposed to be in a meeting right now, but I'm gonna do this first real quick, okay? So I have blue food coloring in my ice water, and I have red, food coloring in my hot water. Ooh, that was a lot of red. Probably didn't need that much. Give it a stir. It's like a cooking show. Okay, now with a cold front, we're starting with cold front first. What we want to see is we want to see the cold air mass be dominant and it needs to be the one that is pushing the red out of the way. So you will notice that we know that cold is gonna sink, but it can still push that warm air mass out of the way. Now, weather during a cold front is going to be, well, it's gonna be stormy. It's intense, okay? The good news is it doesn't last for a long time. If you've ever been awakened at night by a thunderstorm, you'll know that you eventually went back to sleep and that's because that stormy kind of weather doesn't, thankfully, doesn't last for long. Um, the warm fronts are much, much slower and you'll see that in just a bit. But what you should see by this experiment is you should see that that cold air mass moves very quickly and then begins to push the warm air mass out of the way. So if I get my cold air mass and I put my warm in, got a little bit of warm air, you'll see that cold begin to move. See it move right there, right there. It's moving across, see? 
keep going and it's pushing that warm air mass out of the way pretty cool huh oh, that's awesome. I could watch this all day so satisfying all right cool now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset and I will show you a warm front okay notice that that cold moved across very quickly and it may not seem quickly but when you watch the warm front you'll realize oh yeah that cold moved way faster all right hang on let me go get some stuff all right all right so sorry I'm hidden back behind here um, the cold front was a big success we were able to see that that cold air mass moved very quickly and it totally pushed the warm air mass out of the way now what we want to do is we want to replicate uh, a warm front you will notice that the warm air becomes dominant that the warm air mass is the one that pushes across and that the warm air mass moves slower much more slowly than the cold air mass did okay let me get my stuff hang on I made a mess okay I have two cups stuck together and I know all right good this scared me so I have red and blue again I have red for the warm air mass blue for the cold air mass and this is a warm front, so the warm is going to be dominant. So the warm is going to go in. We're going to watch it push. See that? Pushes the blue out of the way. Oh, that's awesome. 